Hi, I'm Paul from the Studio Rats, and today I'm joined by Mr. James Ivey, who's going to be playing drums on the track. So yesterday I released a song, and it was the guitar parts. It was all of the guitar parts. Now it had some, shall we, shall we call them MIDI, MIDI drums, James? Fake drums. Fake drums. That's better. That's a better way of explaining it. Right, so today uh, James is going to record the drums for the track. So... This is the way that we do it in the studio. So I'm in my studio in Surrey and James is in his studio in, in the Lowlands. Temporary studio. Temporary, yeah, temporary studio in the Lowlands uh, over in deepest, darkest Essex. This is the way we do it. We use a program called, James, and, and actually, do you want to explain it? Because you probably can explain this better than I can. Okay, so um, Paul writes the predominant amount of his songs in Luna, and I am pretty much solely a Pro Tools user. Now, you'd think that instantly gives us a problem, but it doesn't, um, because obviously it's audio is audio, we can import, export, do all that sort of stuff. The problem is if Paul was sat in this chair in this room, he could have some headphones on, listen to me play drums, listen to the track and go, yeah, that's great, I like that, don't like that. Yada yada. However, he's not. He's in downtown Surrey, England. So we use a very clever piece of software called Listen To. And Listen To is this thing here by a company called Audio Movers. Now, what this does is it takes the output of your DAW, or in this case, an auxiliary feed, because the mix that Paul wants to hear is not necessarily what I need to hear. He doesn't want to hear click track, quite frankly. Nobody wants to hear click track, but he doesn't need to. Um, so I've done him an auxiliary mix, the same as it would be like a Q mix or a headphone send. And we're feeding it into Listen To. Now what Listen To does is it, you know, with the magic of its programming, I, then, I create a link, a web link, from listen to I send it over to Paul he opens it up in a web browser and he can listen to the output of my DAW now that's magic it's pretty clever isn't it it's very very cool and it works really well now in this case latency is not really an issue there is a like at this time I think we're at 78 BPM 77, 77 yeah something like that and the equivalent latency is about two beats but that yeah. doesn't really matter what we're worried about here is Paul hearing the performance in something close to real time. So we can go back and say, oh, that second verse or that second chorus wasn't quite right. Could you bring it up there? Um, can we change the groove a bit? You know, things like that. Um, artistic um, quantitative phrases like that. You know, what, what can we change? How can we make it more to what we're after? And Listen To allows us to do that. Now, the other piece of software that we use is Skype, or which, you know, pick your um, uh, video call platform of choice. The reason we use Skype is because, one, it's free, um, and more importantly, when I'm playing drums, I can mute my microphone inside my MacBook Pro. Um, normally, when we do videos, we'd all be like tie clip mics or, or um, shotgun mics, things like that. For this video, just because of the amount of tech, it would they would be involved, you're just hearing me speak through the mic in my MacBook Pro like you would on the live stream. Um, I can just mute that microphone. Paul then only hears what's going through the Pro Tool system and through Listen To. Mm -hmm. Then we get to the end of a take and we'll go, yeah, like that bit, didn't like that bit. Let's do it again. Create a new pass, a, a, a new take. All is good. That's pretty much our process. So your drums are set up permanently. At the moment, this, this is obviously your temporary studio before you move into your new studio. James and myself, we need to chat through what sort of performance, what sort of track we want out of you know James's drum plan. Now, James doesn't normally need directing at all. What he normally does works. But for the purpose of this video, James knows. I mean, James had to listen to it. It's obviously a an Americana. I'd go country rock. I think it's probably a safe. So it's a country rock sort of track. So we're going to go for that. Um, we know the sort of thing we want. We don't want anything virtuosic. Paul basically doesn't want me to go dig a dig a dig a dig a dig a dig a and he definitely does not want the China. <sighs> the China symbol has to stay out of this performance. Yeah, but it's not 
that's not what this song's about. This song is about simplistic. I, I, I'd, I'd call this a dum 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 ba dum sort of feel song. It doesn't need to be any more than that. It's exactly what it is. That's exactly what it is. So yeah, all we want we want from this really simple, simple groove, simple fills. Imagine that you're playing on a much smaller drum kit, yeah. I would say, that sort of thing. But shall we go for it? Because yeah, exactly. well, normally what happens here is is that we go through a bunch of different takes. Uh, I think what we'll do is, well, let's just see what happens. Yeah. Let's see what yeah. happens with this recording. Um, what I'm going to do is to record the audio that we're getting so the people that are watching the video can actually hear what I'm hearing. Yeah. And then maybe I'll play a bit of that and then we'll just switch to your actual recorded drums. Mm -hmm. uh, I will be going offline effectively. I'll go and start the cameras and I'll play some drums. Paul will of course put some comedy music under this while this all happens in high speed. So while James is setting up, I can show you this end of what I'm going to listen to. So this is the link that James has sent me from Audio Movers. Now I get this screen up on my web browser. And as you can see, we've got a little audio indicator there and I can turn the whole mix up and down so I can monitor what James is playing in my studio. And here he is. So what's happening now is James is going to be recording his drum track. Now James can control his DAW from where his drums are and I'll be getting a feed of his mix. So basically the kit and the track at the same time.
I can hear awesome now. Awesome stuff. Yeah. yeah, I think that was, yeah. I sort of tried to build it where it built and pull it back. The groove right. felt, yeah, the groove felt much more relaxed on that on, on that take. That was great. That was Yeah, that's the one, I think. Okay, nice one. So that, people, is how we record drums. Hopefully what you've heard there is is a bit James's recording, what's coming through my speakers now, and then the tweaked, shall we say, the tweaked with nice compression and reverb and all that sort of stuff that's on it so you can sort of hear how it's going to sound in the mix. We really hope you guys got something out of that video. I'm Paul. I'm James. And we'll see you next time.